Agency for Human Resources Development Director George Santos says they are still coping with the shocking death of their co-worker Nancy Pangolin in Moffness. Flowers and a picture with the black ribbon of the 63-year-old could be seen on the neatly organized office desk she once occupied, as her sweaters and name tag hang in the corner. Santa says Moffness worked in the government of Guam for over 40 years and was AHRD's records keeper and clerk. She may have done well at routine office tasks, but he notes she was known better as a person who continued to give back to the community. What's interesting about Nancy is that Nancy always seemed to have a giving uh, personality. She uh, gave of herself. I mean, she always, always fundraising for medical referrals, for uh, uh, community events like Parent Teachers Association. I mean, she was always involved. Santos also mentions Moffness was deeply committed to the Catholic Church and spiritually grounded. But to other people, she was more than just a co-worker. She was family. Sandra and Nicholas Tahaji says Moffness was her aunt and played multiple roles in her life. Although Moftis did not have any kids, she was a mother and grandmother to Tahaji's family. She also would check on her family members regularly. One of the biggest things I, I, I'll always remember, and my family always remembers that, especially on Saturday, she'll just pop into our house knocking at the door, and she's very known for bringing like star apples or abas or avocado for my grandchildren. She was always, always asking about my grandchildren, and, and I'll always remember that. Abby Guerrero also says Moffness was close to her and Mrs. Moffness always checking on her. She talks about how her dear friend and cousin would cut out obituaries of their relatives and educate her on their family roots. She's the one that always say to me, uh, you know, that uh, this person is my father's uh, cousin and they're, they're, that's how we get related to okay. us, and that's how I know my relatives also. Barragada mayor-elect June Blas adds her Auntie Nancy also donated flowers from her garden for Barragada's annual liberation float. She remarks that she'll always call her office with concerns and recommendations and was very cautious. And this is one lady that will always lock her doors, I'm telling you. Um, behind her, she would lock the gate, padlock it, and you need to make an appointment with her in order for you to see her. Yeah, you can, or call her and say, I can to Nancy, I'm coming by, you know. But, uh, you know, that's how I know her, and she keeps to her garden. Mm -hmm. She loves her flowers. Blas also says Moffness continued to give to others up until the very end. Before she died, Blas recalls how she saw her aunt at Cars Plus getting her car serviced and then surprised those employees by buying them all lunch. She and the rest of those who were close to Moffness also say if they saw her one last time, this is what they would say to her. Well, you know, Nancy, you've been a trooper. You did your well with pride, professionalism, responsiveness, integrity, dependability, and efficiency, and we thank you so much for that. Auntie Nancy, you're going to be truly missed. For the person that she was, the, the giving person that she was, I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss that a lot here at the agency, not being able to see her come in or even just to come sit with me. Um, I'm going to miss the love that she had for, for me here. I still can't believe what happened to her, but may her soul go to heaven. Uh, she's be, uh, I hope she, God blessed her, and I'm surely going to miss her. I would think of her even to pass by, you know, because it's the way to my house, so I would yeah. look, you know, I would look at her and... You know, and just say, I see Auntie Nancy, I don't see her. I'm not going to be seeing her outside her house with her big straw hat. I'm not going to be seeing that anymore. So I don't know who would be there, but I, I, and I hope and pray that whoever takes over from there, maybe her sister that flew in, would, would take care of her garden also. Josh Tikenko, PNC News.